Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Drone Mesh. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best budget motors you could possibly purchase, which some just strongly disagree about these motors, but I truly love them because they're absolutely cheap and they're cheaper than the VTX antenna if you break it. And they do perform sometimes pretty spectacular. So Razorstar recently received released three motors and they are the 2207 class. They're called the 2207S and then you have three KV virgins. You have 1600 KV, 2200 KV and a 2500 KV. And we did the previous and this is going to be the 1600 KV low virgin. So this is pretty interesting and uh, they performed very well. Something about this little motor. This is the 1600 KV. We're doing the 1600 KV in this video. It was the, it just, you know, I've tested the other low KV from T-Motor, X-Foot, and uh, Emax lights. I've tested those low KV, but those all got pretty toasty at 5S. Some at 6S, I started smelling them. This one was only just a tad bit hot on 6S, which really, really surprised me. So... We're going to go ahead and check over the data results in a little bit, but let's just take a look at it because some people like to see this. So in the previous ones, like I mentioned, these right here, I highly recommend you buy some different ones, you know, some spares because that white thing will pop off eventually. And uh, basically, you know, if you're in the field, you're not going to be able to get another one. You're done flying because it's not going to hold down your pop. So that's one thing you should take note of here. Motor wires, very, sm very small, seven centimeters, which is 70 millimeters here. You're going to need to extend them if you're using a form one ESC. Uh, overall build construction, very good. No play like their previous 2306 edition motors or a lot less play that's not even noticeable. And let's get this one's weight. So the 2500 KV weighed 36 grams. The 2200 KV weighed uh, 37 grams. And this one is 36 grams. So yeah, that's all in between the same range, 36, 38 grams. So that's pretty good. Uh, the gaps within the magnets are decent. They're okay. They're not the best, but you know, don't forget how much you're paying here for them. And uh, they're using a C clip. So if you wanted to clean that out, you're going to have to be playing with C clips. So just be careful when you clean this guy out. And I hate C clips and a lot of people do. So these are 2207. Uh, they should be pretty nice, I think. Uh, so enough talking and let's just get testing. All right, guys. So the results are in and, um, they're looking pretty good actually for such a very cheap motor. So this is the Racer Star 1600 KV 2207 motor. And uh, I've did uh, three tests of each propeller here, 4S, LiPo 5, 6S, except on the six inch, I think I lost the 6S result. I'll have to do that in a later video. Anyways, we're gonna do a shootout between low KV motors. So that'll be in there also. All right, let's start with the King Kong 5045 tri-blades on a 4S. So as you can tell here, we only generated 525 grams of thrust at around 13 amps, which is, I guess, good. I don't know. We just have to see. So it's 82% efficient. The motor efficiency is 82% here. And then here I should change this to gram uh, force per watt instead of kilogram. So here it's about, what is that? Two grams a watt. It's a propeller efficiency. So overall, vibrations seem okay i guess so it's, it's pretty much it's all right it's not bad here and now i just what i wanted to what i noticed well let's get into the success in a little bit the five on the 5s this did 750 grams at 17 amps of current that's pretty good actually 17 17 amps of current that'll be pretty awesome for like a little hex copter or something and um you obviously have your rpm here and uh, I'm still currently looking for someone to help me graph. So if anyone just email me, I got someone to help me out with the website, posting all the reviews on the uh, shop drone mesh.com. So you can see the budget things, the top things. So you don't have to go through all the videos. It'll just, they'll all be there organized and I'm currently organizing them there. So that'll help you out there. I'll leave a link to it down below. And in the app as well, I'll have special sections for all the ESC reviews, what I consider the best budget ones, what I consider the best. Uh, ESCs and, and motors and flight controllers and all these kind of information will be slowly but surely added. I'm currently looking for help to help me install that stuff there. So I put my time back into my videos and my testing. All right. So for the King Kong 5045 on a 5S, it was pretty good. 750 grams. I got a maximum. That's an average of 750 grams here. And uh, the current was 17.6 amps at RPM was 29,000 RPM here. 
Now its efficiency is around 81%. So it's it's still pretty good here. We were, we're pretty damn efficient, I believe. So overall it's 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 pretty good. I mean, that's all I can say. You you see the numbers and you decide for yourself here. It's very hard for me to compare with anything just yet. I don't really have much data here to go by. Now here on the 6S, the King Kong 5045 on a 6S. So if we take a look here, we were getting almost one kilogram of thrust, which is very good at 23 amps, which is hella awesome. One kilogram at 23 amps. Now I know that's good, and I, I you know, I don't even need to think twice about it. And around, you know, 75% throttle, it was getting around 632 grams of thrust at 11 amps. That that's pretty nice, actually. That is that is very nice. And 300 grams of thrust at 4 amps, so that's that's half throttle. So, you know, what I've noticed also with the Everwing that I just flew, which is a low KV build, the pre-built one, is you, are, you might have to play with the throttle curve, which I never do, because when you start dropping voltage, I mean, not like voltage sag, when the voltage drops, like, you know, 1 volt, you know, you're flying and it just drained 1 volt. You have to stay higher up on your throttle. It's not what you're used to. So in the first couple of times, you're just going to be hitting the ground like because you think you have that power, but it turns out, no, you need to push even higher. So that's something to take note of. Uh, the, 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 the low end is really not there. In the beginning, it's totally there, but then once the voltage drops, it, it's kind of unpredictable. You just need to get used to it is what I'm trying to say. So this is what we see here, and this is what I felt the other day uh, when I flew the Everwing 6S... Uh, uh, pre-built quad this is a 6s low kv quad so that's what i was feeling and that's why i was ending up on the floor most of the time but um yeah this is this seems pretty good right here 6s so let's just see the dow 50 40 50 46 tri blaze these are the the c ones so on a 4s we got 562 kilograms of thrust at around 14 amps which is pretty good also but if we compare it to here uh, it's uh, it's better. It's better than the King Kong. So th these props are good on the on on this motor actually. And uh, if we take a look here on the 5S, we got around 800 grams at close to 20 amps of uh, uh, current here. So 800 grams. That's that's also pretty damn good. So it's just just I just want to check this back up here. 17 grams. Yeah, that that is better. Yeah, the dial seems to fit this motor very well actually. Very nice um in that perspective and if we go to 6s we were hitting over one kilogram of thrust around 25 amps which is pretty good i mean it's 25 amps to give you one kilogram of thrust is, is very good actually but don't forget this is a low kv and we're running 6s here and now the six inch propellers and this is on a 4s i don't know where the six six s went the six s uh lipo test went but i'll find it or i'll just redo it when we do the shootout now if we take a look here on a 4S, we almost we got basically we could say 700 grams of thrust at around 15 amps of current, which is pretty good, pretty nice to see. Um, it's, it's it's good, it's all right. So on the 5S, looks like a pretty nice little sweet spot. You get one kilogram of thrust at 22 amps. So you know, here's the results. I'll leave this link down below. You can play with it. I still uh, I'm going to be putting all of this data into the website where it's completely graphed. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to need help. So currently, anyone who would like to help, obviously, I'll try to give you something in return. Uh, it would be super awesome. Um, currently, I do I do I found help to help me put the reviews up on the website, and uh, it's just going to be taking more shape and more shape, and it'll be also everything will be available on the application also. So yeah, make sure you hit those up. And then I do some awesome things there. Don't miss out. Uh, really awesome things. And uh, um, yeah, really awesome. Really awesome cheap stuff for everybody. And um, well, that's really it. That's going to include it for this video. Now, there's another one important factor that I keep getting is my results are completely different from everyone else. Now, this made me go crazy the first couple tests I ever did. So I went and purchased like five load cells, another thrust stand. Um, I purchased, what else did I get? I got, I got just a bunch of things. I recalibrated. I got calibration weights just to triple double check everything. And this, it's consistent with every single setup I've done. The only time I get measurements, like for example, Engineer X, I'm not saying he's wrong. I could be wrong here is if I don't tear my load cells and I keep the extra weight of the motor, then I do get those 200 grams of thrust. For example, I was doing this specifically on the DYS Mars motor. 
And I was constantly, you know, and I flew that. I flew that. I flew the shit out of that motor. And that motor was not a very powerful motor. I can tell you that right now. And for it to get a 1,400 grams of thrust on testing just did not add up. Because for me, I was just getting one kilogram, not 1.2, 1.3 kilograms of thrust. Because I could totally feel it, you know. When you fly, you could totally feel it, obviously. Just the responsiveness wasn't there like an F40 or an F60 motor. So something is wrong here, and I really want to get down to it. And Engineer X, hit me up, email me. I'll try to email you. Maybe we'll see what's what's going on here because I'm my tests are just constantly consistent, and I've done many changes and I've done many modifications to triple check and before I continue on testing because all of this would be wasted, and that is why I stopped testing for a while just till I did everything I possibly could. To triple check that I'm doing everything correct. So something is going on here. I don't know what it is. I'm not saying anyone's wrong. I could be wrong. I just, yeah, I just really want to uh, talk with someone. And then we just see what's up. We compare face to face and see see how, how well that works out. But overall, these are my results. These are 100% calibrated. Plus minus 3 grams. Um, I double check before every single motor test here. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm... I'm yeah, that's all I could really say right now, guys. That's it. This is my testing results. I'll leave a link to the Excel sheet down below. If I do forget, leave me a comment. I'll put it there. And uh, you'll be able to find all this stuff on the website also very soon. And there's also some stuff on the website. You can go ahead and check it out. Uh, it also finds you awesome deals. And I also sell stuff for awesomely cheap sometimes. I work with some companies to get a little bundle and just sell it cheap for everybody. Basically, it's kind of like a marketing for them. At the same time, everyone gets something for cheap. And it's just good. And I'm not talking with any company except good companies such as Maytech, Hollybro, like Tico32, and maybe I'm thinking of some DYS Arias in there. And, well, you know, one step at a time, we'll see where we take it. And, well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys consider joining my Patreon, join the mission. You get special access to my website. You also get a bunch of giveaways. And uh, the special access is pretty awesome. You get a secret place where you can purchase stuff for absolutely cheap from some companies that I work with. And uh, there's more posts on the Patreon page. So, yeah, consider joining Patreon. You have a lot to win. And uh, you also support the channel. And you also get a lot in return. So it's a win-win situation for everyone to keep this channel going. And uh, you can also use the affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. Uh, that'll enable me to get more and more things in for review also. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.